What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Foxy Tara. I am here to give the Zodiac sign Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising a seven-day Zodiac forecast. This is for the week of March 8th through March 14th. First and foremost, thank you for visiting my channel. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes. Thank you for your continuous love and support. If you are looking for a personal reading, please click the description box below, and you will see my Etsy page, and it will direct you to the listings of readings that I do have. Also, I wanted to take a moment to, I wanted to shout out Swift Enough for gifting me this super comfy sweatsuit. Like, I absolutely love this. Like, when I say the quality is amazing, it's warm and cozy, and I love what they stand for. It's, they stand for self-care and healing. You already know, Foxy is all about the self-care, self-love, and healing. So, on this journey, you gotta be cute and comfy while you're doing it. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, so let's see what's going on for the week of March 8th through March 14th. All right, you got peace and rejoice in reverse. That's the three of cups. Authority in reverse. Financial material. Ooh, and for, wow. Cuff. Scorpio, y'all done cut out a, this could possibly be, have been someone that you had a very, very strong spiritual connection with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, woo, and hope. I, okay, oh, I'm getting chills. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with the Aries, a Leo, um, a Taurus, a Libra. But... This definitely feels like, okay, for some of y'all, this may be a third-party situation where you just cut yourself out of and you just decided, you know what, that's it. Um, I'm leaving this. And this could be someone that you would either maybe in a marriage with or some type of union. But this was definitely a spiritual union. And I feel like, um, I feel like also this could soulmate, twin flame, I don't even like throwing those words out of the, out there, but this could this is definitely something that's very strong. We have the emperor and the empress both in reverse. So let's let's really dig into this. Two of cups. Yeah, this could yeah, with the three of cups and then two of cups, you're you're um cutting yourself out of a third party situation. Monday. It's like you've decided, like, you know what, this is no longer serving me. Or for some of you Wow, yeah, nine of wands in reverse. Um, for some of you, you have come to a decision in someone that you want to go towards, that you that you feel like you possibly maybe y'all were in this harmony at one point, but now you're making a decision to be like, you know what, let me let my guard down and actually let this person in. Okay, Tuesday we have authority in reverse. Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Ooh, yeah. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the Taurus or dealing with a um, dealing with the Aries. But you, you, when it came to this person, you let this person go because you decided to work on yourself. Okay. Now it doesn't have to be these signs. It could be anybody. This could just be someone. Maybe some of y'all um, are dealing with someone that works in the law enforcement or some or have some type of maybe the military. But this person had a very significant impact in your life. And you you chose to listen to your higher self. Like you, I feel like you're on a spiritual journey right now to working on yourself with the Eight of Pentacles and with the Hierophant, that's Taurus energy. You are deciding to go on a spiritual journey. Maybe some of y'all are even um, seeking therapy in a sense to really like um, focus on your grounding, okay? Some of y'all may be even going to school. Some of y'all could be into the arts too. But um, I feel like also some of y'all are definitely, um, like your third eye is definitely heightened. Okay, so Wednesday we have financial and material changes. Three of swords. swords okay so i feel like also like come wednesday 
being that a lot of y'all are getting out of your head in regards to this, it, it, feel, it feels like there's, um, y'all could have like money, like I feel like blessings and a lot of things just started changing out of nowhere once you released yourself from this person. And you or you release yourself from this um, this third party situation, this disappointment, this heartache. Thursday we have fertility in reverse. That is the Empress in reverse, and then with the King of Swords. Okay, yeah, you. So for those of you who were dealing with um, possibly maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person, this person knows that they messed up. This person, wow, with the seven of swords, yeah, you, this, this person did a number on you, okay? For some of you, for um, Scorpio, for some of y'all, this person definitely did, there's a lot of air energy. Some of y'all could definitely have been dealing with um, an Aquarius, but this person did a number on you, okay? This person was very deceitful, was lying, was, you know, was, was not honest with you. Friday, we have Trapped in Fear. And another message that I'm getting is that this, this person was like your, your source of income as well. A source of income, I don't mean to say it like that. But um, this person was um, like helped you a lot financially. And you're, you're walking away from that. This person could have possibly been married or you could have been married to this person. Okay, some of y'all could have been um, could have been dealing with a married person who is who is stuck in a um, in a situation due to finances, and you feel like this person is your soulmate. However, this um, hold on, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ten of Cups. Wow. You have Friday trapped in fear, and then you have Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Um, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting two different messages. Some for some of y'all with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in reverse, you. You were you were very um, heavily come on Friday. It's like you really took a hit, a a loss with this. Like you had a lot of love for this person, okay. And with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it's like this person was wasn't um, giving you no type of emotional fulfillment. Wasn't even um, not like no like like there was no stability there. You know, or you, this is how you're feeling. Sorry for the background. This is how you know. Also, how you're feeling. Like you're, you're, you're now. It feels like you're scared to actually move towards or go towards. Um, you know, like to to get out. I feel like this. You know, this like Friday. With this, like you have took, like you you went into like hermit mode in a sense because this did not turn out like this was this. You're really, really extremely saddened by this Scorpio. On 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 Friday, Saturday we have what, obstacles and challenges in reverse. Seven of Wands. It's hard for y'all to resist this person, but it, but they're saying like Saturday, you really need to um, stand your ground. Yeah, High Priestess. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a um, a Cancer. Um, Saturday, it, you're gonna find it hard to, I feel like, resist this person or like put place boundaries up with this person. Scorpio, please don't go back. Please don't go back. Because for some of y'all that's in a third party situation, this person is married. Okay? This person, this it feels like this person is in a marriage that they're not happy about or they're um they're in a relationship, a, a higher level, um, some some type of long term relationship and 
they're constantly like stepping out and being sneaky or you or this could be you married to someone or for those of you um, that are not in third party situations and were in a relationship with someone this could be with someone that you had a long term relationship with or you felt like this was your soulmate and right now you're choosing to separate yourself and go and not um and not go against your intuition and you're tr and you're trying very hard to work on yourself right now because this this person is very um this this whole situation was very toxic Sunday we have truth. Wow, the devil card. Yeah, this is a whole this is a very toxic situation. Capricorn Libra. And then the two of swords. Yeah, you Scorpio, I if you if you are choosing to hold on or latch on to someone that is in a third party situation or you know in your like even if you're not in a third party situation or you were involved with someone you know that this that this is toxic so you have to make the judgment call on whether or not if you want to deal with them because you got the two of swords in reverse and then you also have you have the truth the truth is the judgment um the judgment card in this deck you need to you need to face the truth that this is toxic okay it's if you want to keep playing patty cake with the devil, that's your business. But this is this is creating a lot of instability. This is this this whole connection right here is is something that like you okay. This could have been um this could have been someone that you know that you did have a soul like a soul tie with. I'm feeling more so like this is like soulmate. But you're holding on and you keep holding on to hope. And it's like you're you're fooling yourself right now. Some of y'all could be dealing with the um with a Leo or with a um or death or with an Aquarius. You keep holding on to hope. And it's it's like you yeah, this yeah, you you definitely have to have the confidence to to you know to really like walk away because this person is not in the right mental space. This person is not even making you happy right now. Okay, this 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 person's not making you happy. And for for some of you, like I said, this person's in a is is in a um is in a marriage. Uh is in a marriage or so or some type of like commitment with maybe like a Taurus or a Libra but um yeah this this right here is creating a lot of imbalance and maybe for some of you you know this person could be staying for financial reasons um being unhappy and um unhappy emotionally and even you know like stability wise you know whether this is you feeling this way or this person is you know is feeling this way in regards to wherever they at but this um you got to really stand your ground Scorpio you have to really stand your ground and you have to focus on you because this this is very very toxic so the choice is yours looking like 